wholesome in there. Absolutely nothing. Regularly, <laughs> you wouldn't have scrunched my love now. 
Bruce. In any sane country, I'm sure that would be absolutely fine. But not in America. We didn't do anything wrong, but the joy Gestapo would have The joy Gestapo! And then I'm talking to my dad and I made a song called the Devil. Um, could I see your fear, please? Can I see your fear papers, please? Your fear documents? Can I have you now? Yes, the fear documents are not in order. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to remove you from your joy at this point in time. So Yeltskin's, there's all kinds of debate about what is true Buddhism, what's religion, and, and there's there's these people, uh, Chinese people that's going into that and controlled it. And I was wondering, could you tell me, uh, did you know about the history of all of that? And like, they didn't ever allow foreigners in their country, and so. Let me see, yo, can you tell me about Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and it, the Tibet traditionally right never let anyone into their country because they were kind of standoffish. But um, I was wondering if you think China's communist control has something to do with their erroneous practice of Buddhism. I want my broiled chicken with fried chicken. Getting chicken with do you think it's because they appoint religious leaders out of some weird system of control? I'm not the one for that. Do you think that's why the Nazis <laughs> like Buddhism I mean, so much? Like a, a really beautiful girl. So, so wait, 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 you think that's true? Yes. Yeah. Really <laughs> oh my goodness. Did you were you reborn in America so you could get away from the crazy debate? You just keep saying yes. I guess that's a yes. Okay, so <laughs> I like sand paintings too. I, I love mandalas and deep artwork. So when you saw the Chinese come in and they stomped on the Tibetan sand paintings, I know everybody was crying and everything. But I saw you and took a doo-doo in, the, in there, and, and, and was that appropriate? <laughs> I see what you're trying to communicate. I'm very glad to clear these things up. You're so wise, Yeltskins. You're so wise. That's why I love you. You just all these humans talking so much, and you just say yes when it's time to say yes. I don't like that about you, Yotes That's what I'm saying. Thank you for letting me film you. I know it's exhausting for you. like the, the problem of a competitive society where people compete to win over others. Like we could either cooperate and have money. But this world that we, we live in a world of like money. And so those who have more money are considered better than people that don't have money. People that have Then it seems that uh, trained her in my style of body work and supported her as much as I could, and it was never enough. And she got me arrested. She put me in jail. She was fucking people. She was who? This Mexican prostitute. Oh, another woman? Mm -hmm. See, that's my ex-girlfriend. Oh, see, I would think that's rad. <laughs> that, that, yeah. It's not actually rad. I think it's really funny. Like, when Tara, Tara used to always talk about getting a girlfriend, I was like, yeah, why don't you get a girlfriend? That's a good idea for you. You should have a girlfriend. Yeah. 
I encouraged it too, but she was just inept. Oh, I see, I see. Same, same, thing. same thing. Same thing. Yeah. Because it's... It's their repressed desire and hatred towards men that is being expressed. It's not an authentic, like, oh, let me have a female companion and share them with you too. It's their repressed desire. Let me have some it's kind of love. I try and respect that and it actually some really care love. that it's fine if you have a girl that doesn't you know. But you knew the condition. Oh, separate that doesn't know you. Yeah. Oh. And she was humoring that? She was talking about that a lot? Yeah. She was telling me, like, women that she would meet during the day. And, like, yeah. She would think about maybe a good girl. Oh, so cool. Uh, awesome, you know? That's awesome. That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's That's funny. I think it's cute. I think it's like, yeah, you're just a human trying to do the best you can with what you Get got. Up. Human race, you know. Oh, 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 I need a change, I need a change I need a change inside my heart again. Oh, look, my smiley face popped up. Get my hands off the wheel. The human race yeah. needs a change. Uh, Consider other human race yeah. needs a change. Yeah. It's like hard to do the right thing when so much is wrong in your environment, right? Yeah. It's pretty cool, I like this. Let's go to the shore. Let's go to the shore over here. Yeah. The people pay the price. Changing my karma. My family karma. My family karma of bigotry, 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 a big old tree. The trade table. The human race needs a change again. Get 
Snatcher, Snatcher! Nope. Can you say that again? It's not good to get in people's fight because they will start fighting at you. Awesome. I agree with you totally. Yeah, then you'll get pulled into the lower animal drama. Really though. Where's the source of enjoyment? How do you find lasting happiness? On the pain of the game. I've been a bartender, I've been a chef, I've been an actor, I've been a writer, I've been I've been a landscaper, I've been a cleaning te technician, I've been a jet detailer. I've been a body worker, all alone here. a healer, a massage therapist, in my happy rooms. and no matter what I am, all alone here. they've no still made her to prison. No matter what you do, all alone here. you can change your attitude, you can get out, or buy out. No matter what, this place is set up to be a prison. Even in this beautiful county in America, there's a jail there. There's a jail. Looks like mainly highways and houses. But this is the Civic Center in some town in Northern California. 
Underneath there is a cage to put bad people. What do you do with the bad people? What do you do with the good people who get caught up to see what happens to the bad people? What do you do What do you do when you see control all around you, slowly sucking the very life of freedom? People made to fall in line. People made to fall in line and suffer one another. Everybody's set against each other in this system. No one has the time nor the money to care. This thing is coming together. How do you change your attitude about the facts? The way the money's being spent. What it's doing to people. What it has done to people. What it will do until the very end. As it's trying to do right now, the blackness of 4.15 in the morning. But the light must rise. And so they keep you on the sidelines of life. Keep you entertained with sports and competition. Competition with others. And ultimately, ultimately, competition with yourself. Right down to your wife, your partner, your neighbors. Silently setting everyone against each other. That is the goal of control. That is the goal of human arrogance and the power of money over men. What's actually happening to humankind. As long as people believe in authority over truth, what can I do? How can I really live amongst this kind of people? Everything else outside people's lives is what runs their lives. There's a cause of celebration. Why? Why? Every day determine your situation. Yeah. Really want it when you are just a young person on so the earth adopted fear. And now really? I'm black so dang. Shake it all up. Really? It feels like she breaks my heart and stuff like that. It feels sad. Yeah, it feels sad. And then I just walk away. And sometimes I say in the story. So you're kind of like in the middle, like you're not like really, really happy, but you're not really, really sad? Yeah. You think that's the best way to be? Oh. Interesting. There was an accident. <laughs> See, so we're getting into something good. <laughs> Thank you for that. You think what? I think that the best thing to be is to be full happy, but how I am right now, I think it's good. Considering all the difficult things you're going through? Yeah. When my parents broke up, I was 16. I was 16 years old, 16 or 17, and like, I didn't, it didn't hurt then, 
But then years, even now, like 34 years later, I'm like, why did they have to break up? You know why? Why did they <laughs> have know. to go? I know. That's, Cause, cause, that's how I feel. Because they came together and made me. And so if they go apart, I feel like it hurts my heart. That's how I feel sometimes. But maybe that's not the best way to feel, right? Because it is. Like, it, it happened. So, like, what does it matter how I feel about it? I know. That's kind of hard, right? Yeah. <laughs> Open up your heart to you. 
sister.